Welcome to Todd Talk. Today I'm going to tell you about the time I saw a rat at work. Todd Talks is brought to you by Choblo. Whatever it takes. So when I was a young 20-something, I was a janitor. I worked graveyard at a grocery store. And I would work with a small crew of guys and we would sweep and mop the floor and vacuum the entryways and empty the garbages. You know, normal janitorial type stuff. If you've never worked graveyard before in your life, it's an interesting thing. You meet some fascinating people. And what I mean by fascinating is some people who do amazing things with their time and their life. And some people who don't come out during the daylight. And so we're all kind of stuck in this grocery store from like 10 p.m. until 7 a.m. every day. And this particular night, my job was to scrub the floors. I would drive this big scrubber that looks kind of like a big motorized shopping cart that's kind of full of soap and water. And you would just kind of go up and down the aisles with this thing. So at this point of the night, I am kind of scrubbing the main aisle and I'm heading down towards this secondary entryway. Pretty big grocery store. So in addition to the main entrance, there's a couple of auxiliary entrances. The entrance uh, is basically just some interior doors that open to this big space and then some exterior doors. And one of the interior doors is propped open. Now, as I'm heading in that direction, just out of my periphery, I notice the tiniest little movement and I kind of look up. Wasn't big enough to be a person, but I definitely saw something. So I park my scrubber and I kind of run over there and I shut the door and I kind of survey the entryway. And I don't see anything. So I go ahead and I go inside. And it's not a very big space. You know, there's a couple of magazine racks on either side that have like your nickel ads and your auto trader. And then in the center of the room is this rolled up carpet, this big, long eight foot tube really thin carpet, the kind you put in front of like a door just to keep the rain and the mud from getting tracked in. And so what I do is I don't kick it, but I I put my foot against it and I push it, not to unroll it, but to spin it. And as I spin this tube out the other end, expels this rat. Now, up to this point in my life, I do not have a lot of experience with rats. They're way bigger than mice. Not quite as big as a possum, but they're bigger than you would care for them to be. And when a rat is cornered, it does two things. First thing it does is it shrieks. It makes this terrible screechy sound that doesn't sound like it should come out of a living thing. It's awful. The second thing they do is they jump. And I don't mean that they hop. I mean like wildly bound around. This thing is bouncing around inside this space like chest level. So I quickly exit the entryway and I go and I get help. There's a few other guys on this crew that I'm working with. One of them is a guy about my age and so I tell him what's going on and he gets one of those plastic baskets like you would get if you just needed a few groceries and then he gets a piece of cardboard and we go back to this entryway And we go inside, and when there's two people in this space, it seems way smaller. And we don't see the rat anywhere. So I repeat my carpet maneuver, and sure enough, we eject this rat out the end. He quickly pounces on top of this thing with the basket, and he traps it. And then he takes the cardboard, and he kind of works it underneath, and he picks it up as this one thing. And our plan is to walk across the grocery store to the main entrance because usually about this time the sun is coming up and we will head out to clean up the parking lot and all that. This thing is ferocious. It is gnawing on the plastic and it is flailing around inside this little basket. It's it's freaky. So when we get to the entryway, the rest of the crew is kind of hanging out there. About once a week, instead of us having to go out and sweep the parking lots, a little parking lot sweeper guy would come by, like a little tiny street sweeper, and he would just drive over it. So on days like that, all we had to do was empty the trash, and then we would just sit around and smoke for half an hour. So when we walk out there, the plan is he's going to go out way out into the parking lot, set it down, and kick the basket over. That way it will run away rather than back at the building. So while I'm watching this, I'm there with my other coworkers, 
and a couple of them are my age. A couple of them are much, much older, you know, probably in their 50s, 60s, likely have been janitors their entire life. Uh, one of them is a guy named Joe, and Joe is very Italian, kind of a bald head, uh, darker skin, wore a filthy white t-shirt every single day, and kind of brown corduroy jeans. That was kind of his uniform. Spoke very, very little English, and the English he did know was usually uh, highly offensive and inappropriate. He told us that he served in World War II, which being Italian was a little problematic because we weren't sure which side he was on. And of course, he was not able to explain that to us. Joe is watching as he goes out with this basket and he's kind of doing the, you know, what's going on? What's going on? My coworker sets the basket down, stands up, kicks it over. And as soon as Joe sees that rat, he springs into action. He moves with an urgency and an athleticism that a man of his age should not have. He goes darting across this parking lot with a broom, screaming something in Italian. He does this kind of hockey stick maneuver, and he swats this rat directly under the street sweeper that is circling our parking lot, and the rat's gone. We're all like slack-jawed and can't believe what we just saw. Joe, of course, not completely able to articulate why he did what he did or why he became so violent. You know, I don't know if he had some sort of rat trauma or maybe as a boy there was some sort of infestation in his village. I don't know. But uh, that is the time that I saw a rat at work and it was one of the most horrifying and magnificent things I've ever seen.